On February 16th, 2023, Rockstar released some more drip feed from the Acid Labs DLC. In that drip feed came some major changes and updates, like the 50 car garage, as well as Gerald's caches, stash houses, street dealers, and the store robberies. So in this guide, I will be going through what they all mean, the best ways to complete them, and of course, how much you can earn and whether they are worth it. I'll be paying special attention to the street dealers as these are the biggest changes and I'll detail the statistics behind them all and whether they are worth selling to or not. So without further ado, let's get to it. First we'll look at Gerald's caches. These can spawn at one of 15 locations and will be denoted on your map by this icon. These will only be available once per day. All you have to do is make your way over to the area and then search the white circle area for a beige parcel with some coloured tape around it. Once collected, you will receive a decent sum of money along with some ammo and snacks. You may then get a 2 star wanted level. Calling up Lester is the fastest way to lose this. Hey, what's up? Oh, how can I help? Okay, my friend, I'll take care of the LSPD. Leave it to me. If you have a few minutes spare and need the money, these are worth completing. Stash houses will be located on your map with this purple icon. Like G's caches, these will only be available once per day. To complete these missions, break into the stash house and murder your ops. Then look for a yellow sticky note in the room which will have the safe code on it. Now simply enter the code and grab the goodies. <laughs> Once you have left the area, the job will be complete. This will reward you by fully restocking your supplies for one of your businesses, if you own them. Which could be your acid lab, bunker, coke factory, meth lab, counterfeit cash, weed farm, or everyone's favourite way to make money, the document forgery business. <laughs> Any other business that you will not be able to buy supplies for will not be available. If you do not own any of the businesses that the game decides it will fully resupply, you will just receive the $30,000. In essence, completing a stash house will not only save you the $75,000 you'd normally spend on resupplying these businesses, but you actually make money from doing this, so these are definitely worth completing daily. The only drawback is how these are randomly selected, and therefore you may end up stocking up a business you don't use. However, there is a way for this to still benefit you further, which I'll explain next. The most complex part of the new DLC drip feed is the street dealers, as you need to weigh up the pros and cons with quite a few variables. Street dealers will spawn at three locations around the map each day and will be denoted by these purple speech bubbles. What these offer is the chance to sell off some of your product from your business just as long as you have them up and running and produce in stock. The main benefit of this is how you can quickly sell product from a business you don't want to sell the original way, like shifting three post-op vans. And can be quick cash in just a few seconds. You can choose to sell one unit of coke, two units of meth, or up to 10 units of weed or acid. It's worth mentioning that for the first week that these were implemented, there was a bonus of 150%. These are likely to come and go with various weekly updates. Each dealer will have a gold star next to one of the products that they will buy from you. This denotes which product can be sold for double the usual amount. For the Acid Lab, this equates to what the market price would sell this product for in a solar lobby with no high demand bonus, while currently having a 150% bonus for the week. Otherwise, the price they will pay you would be half what it normally is. These amounts will differ slightly depending on the street dealer and on each day. But here are the approximations that the dealers pay out, with coke being the highest paying and acid being the lowest. With the acid lab, I sold 10 units from a fully stocked lab, which sold for $43,760. Then afterwards, I kicked him several times in the nuts, but he seemed unfazed. <coughs> This only removed a small chunk of stock from my lab, which equates to the same market value I would sell it for in a solo lobby. 
This was then quickly replenished in only a few minutes. Doing it like this means you can make small gains of income with zero hassle. But ultimately, the best way to sell for the most profit is to do so the normal way in a full public lobby for a much bigger payoff. But these are a neat way to shift stock quickly. With the MC business stock, the bonus payouts would be the same as what the business would sell for before the 25% bus increase implemented back in 2022. The payouts at street dealers work out to more than an MC business sale if your factories are not upgraded, but will pay out less if they are upgraded. The chances each day to get the bonus payouts for the four types of drugs are 35% for the acid, 30% for the weed, 20% for the meth, and 15% for the coke. There are a couple of ways you can keep your stock levels up of this product in order to sell to the street dealers. One way is by using the businesses as normal, keeping supplies up to then produce stock. Another way is having your nightclub sourcing that same stock, which you can do for the coke, the meth and the weed. As you can see here, when I closed down my weed farm and my coke factory, I could still sell coke to the dealer because my nightclub had produced some but I don't set my technicians to produce weed, so I could not sell any. When I sold all of my meth and coke from the nightclub, as well as shifting all of my acid without ordering resupplies, and then went to the street dealer, I could not sell anything because I had no stock to sell. So you will always need stock in either the main business or in the nightclub in order to sell to the street dealers. If like me, you don't have your nightclub technician sourcing weed because it doesn't pay out as much as the other top five, you will need to keep your weed farm open and being used to produce stock in order to sell to the dealer. If you do sell your stock from the nightclub, it will be taken away. As shown here, when I had one crate of meth, which equated to one unit to the street dealer. When it was sold, the one crate was taken from my nightclub, so bear this in mind. Don't forget that completing the stash house missions may give you free supplies for one of these businesses. Store robberies will randomly spawn at one of 25 store locations, identified by a red dot on your map after you have been in any kind of lobby for at least 20 minutes. To complete these, just take down the fleeing robber. Once you have collected the stolen cash, you can either return it back to the store within two minutes, which will pay you $20,000, or keep it and pocket $25,000. I've been getting double these amounts due to having GTA Plus. If you return the money a total of five times, you receive the Good Samaritan Award. But there is no extra cash bonus for achieving this. So unless you really want the award, just keep the money and have an extra $5,000. But this does mean waiting out the two minute cooldown. However, you can bypass these two minutes by simply going inside a building. This will then give you the payout immediately, so definitely worth doing. These are not worth hunting down as it would take much of your time, but are definitely worth doing if you stumble across one randomly. For the record, with much testing in the Hydra, I could not get the store robberies to spawn, but this is not 100% conclusive, so using similar jets may not have these spawn. However, they will still spawn when using the Impressor Mark II or any other normal vehicle. So there you have it, everything you need to know about the new Acid Lab DLC drip feed thus far. Did I miss anything? Will you be using the street dealers? Let me know in the comments. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one.